and welcome to House Call Pro. If you haven't already, be sure to download the Blue House Call Pro app from your App Store or the Google Play Store. This is what it looks like. Once you are inside the app, you will be taken to your dashboard. It is important to understand that your employer has set up your profile with unique permissions, which means that your screen may vary. But what we will cover today in this video sticks to the basics. We are going to start with a quick guide on navigating the app and then dive into using the app when out on the job and in the field. Let's start on your main dashboard when you log in. Your employer may be having you clock in and clock out from within the app. You will see this up top and a summary of your total hours for the weeks that show on your time card. Should you need to make adjustments, please reach out to your employer so that they can make these. On your dashboard, you will see open work for any jobs that are in progress and upcoming jobs that are coming up soon. You will also receive an automatic notification reminding you of a job one hour before it is scheduled to start. At the bottom of the page, you will see your main menu and the second tab, Schedule, where you will be able to see your calendar. On this view, you can toggle between Timeline, Day, or three-day view. If your employer sends you a message from within the app, you will be able to see these and respond by clicking at the bottom here on Messages. This is the third tab on your menu at the bottom of the screen. Now let's get into using the app out in the field. We're going to start by clicking into a job that's been already placed onto our schedule. When you click into the job here, you're going to see at the top you have On My Way, Start, and Finish. Underneath these three buttons, you have customer information as well as a Google Street View. I do want to add this is all editable if you need to change this. Down below, you are going to be able to view your schedule, so your start time and end time, Below that, you have line items. So these are all line items that you want to add to this job here. By clicking on line items, this will allow you to add any services or materials to this particular job here. Once you select a service that you need, just click Add. That will then add that service onto the line items page. After this is complete, you'll click done in the upper right hand corner. Now you'll be able to view all of those line items as well as that price, price attached as well. You'll also be able to view the total underneath all of those line items once you have added those. Underneath those line items, you have job tags. If you click that plus button there, this will allow you to add any job tags to this particular job. Clicking the Save button will allow you to save these tags as well. Underneath job tags, you have private notes. These are all internal. Customer will not be able to see these notes, so you can add anything specific here a lock code, for example. Any of these can be placed in private notes. Underneath private notes, you have photos or documents. If you click on photos or documents, this will then take you to the camera page. By selecting the camera, that will allow you to take photo or choose photo. If I click take photo, that will allow me then to take a quick picture. If I click that use photo button, the bottom right hand corner, 
that will take me then to an uploading size. We always recommend selecting the smallest size possible just for faster uploading and downloading there. Next, that will drop that photo right there. Once you have all of the photos you need, you just click that done in the upper left-hand corner. Now you have photos attached. If I scroll all the way back up to the top, you're gonna see these buttons here. On my way, start and finish. If I click on my way, this is gonna send that notification to my customer via text message that someone is en route. If you are assigned to the job, you will be the employee notified that is en route as well. By selecting on my way, that will immediately send that text message out. You also have start and finish. These are great to remember to get in the habit of hitting these because it's going to date it and timestamp it when you are in the computer so you'll be able to view when the job was started as well as when the job was finished or completed. By clicking that finish button, it will also send a notification to your customer, letting them know the job has been completed. Above those three buttons there, you have approve, invoice, and pay. You can, see, you can get approval either before the work starts or after the work is completed. By selecting before or after, it's going to prompt you to a signature page, where then and there you can gain a signature from your customer. You can get a signature either from tablet or your phone here. When you click done, it's going to attach that signature. The next one here is invoice. This is where you're ready to send the invoice out to your customer. Go ahead and select that invoice option there. It's going to prompt you to that invoice page where there is that signature you've collected as well as a preview of the invoice. If you're ready to send this out to your customer, you can click that blue send button. It will just ask you from here to either put in a email address for your customer from here Depending on your plan, you can also send out a text. The last option here is pay. When you're out in the field, if you are ready to collect payment, you will then have four options. By selecting that blue next button, it's going to take me to either credit card, cash, check, or other. If I select credit card, this process is really easy. It will allow me to either type in that information or there's that scan card button here. I can also scan card while I'm out in the field. Makes this really easy and convenient as well as saves a ton of time. Once I have that information, I would click next to collect that payment. When payment is taken and we are good to go, you will have that green check mark here, just letting you know payment has been taken and approved. If you ever need to edit or delete a job, you can always click on the more option next to pay. This would allow you to delete or add a segment for those multi-day jobs as well. So this is the whole flow here of clicking into a scheduled job, sending an invoice, and collecting payment. Thank you so much.